hello guys in this video I am will going to update the content of the website I will going to add some uh, dummy paragraph on each section of the web web page so I will going to add in uh, the dummy text in the about section in the services section and in the business section okay and then I will going to make a form in contact section in the later upcoming videos but for now I will going to add in the dummy text so first of all what I need to do is I need to uh, differentiate these this text right here and I uh, want to add in a white uh, box in which uh, this text and this image will going to be placed so what I need to do is I need to also make that uh, box uh, um, see through so that I, uh, the user can also see through the back cover image also while reading this text right here so first of all go back to the brackets and uh, open up the CSS file what I need to do is I need to uh, make a class for which I will going to apply some properties for the purpose which I have told you so I will going to make a class right here and I, I named name it as my content okay now I need to apply this class to the HTML element okay and what I need to do is I need to uh, apply first of all the div element to differentiate uh, this uh, content from the section okay so in this div element I will apply the class which I name as my content and then I will close this div before the closing of section element right here okay so I will going to do this for each and every section in which I will uh, I will going to apply uh, the dummy text okay so now what I need to do is I need to apply the CSS so let's go back to the CSS file now I will going to apply the width to be equal to 100 percent okay so the width will be equal to 100 percent and then I will going to apply the color for this class which will going to be a white color which is in uh, which is equal to FFF in code okay hashtag FFF and now if I go back to the to the web page you can see that the color has changed to the white but actually I don't need to change the text color to white I want it to be black so let's go again to the CSS file and change it to 000 which is black in hexadecimal code now go back to the page now it's right now I want to apply the uh, background color okay in this content right here as you can see uh, I am uh, previewing this previewing this web page into the live mode right here so that the, the selection the cursor is at, is at the my content class right now and uh, bracket has highlighted the my content class in the browser as well so basically what I will going to apply in my content it's going to be updated right here inside this box so now uh, I will going to apply background color okay background color and uh, I want it to set it as RGBA RGBA stand for red green blue and alpha alpha will going to apply the opacity which uh, I want to apply to make it a see through so that the user can also see the text uh, and also see the background cover image while reading the text okay so now what I will going to do is I will going to apply the RGBA color which will be 255 255 green 255 blue 
and alpha will be 0.6 okay so this 255 is for uh, uh, red color this for, is for green this is for blue and this is for alpha which actually will going to make a white color and the opacity will be 60 percent 0.6 means 60 percent of opacity okay now if i go back to the web page now you can see that the background image is also visible in this uh, container right here and the text is also stand out from the cover image so that what I want to do now I will going to do this uh, for each and every section of the web page now I also need to apply some more property over here so let's go back to the bracket and what I need to do is I need to also specify uh, the background color property for the browser which is outdated uh, basically the older versions of the browser like uh, IE6, IE7 uh, in older browser the RGBA property will not going to be uh, applied because uh, it is not supported ok now to overcome this problem I will going to apply the background color as R GB okay not RGBA which will not contain any opacity now it will this step this code will only going to be apply for older browser now I will comment this line right here let's leave a comment just remember that this line of code is for older versions of browser and this line of code is for newer version of browser ok now what I need to do is I need to apply padding I want it to apply about 50 pixel from top and bottom and about 5 pixel from left and right ok now if I go back to the browser you can see that the content has padded to the 50 pixel from top and bottom and from left and right it is equal to the 5 pixel of padding ok now I will going to apply this uh, dummy text in all other section in all th uh, other three section about services and business section now to add in what I need to do is I need to first uh, delete this text right here and then inside the section element I will going to again define the div with a class which will be same as my content and then inside here I will going to add in some paragraph now a good website is for getting some for generating some dummy paragraph is blind text generator so just search it and then this is the website right here now this website contains some dummy text which we will going to be apply over to the web page now over here you can specify how many amount of paragraph you want so I want about 4 paragraph now over here you need to tick this box display paragraph text otherwise it will not going to display paragraph text and you need you will need to apply it manually so just take it over here and then it will going to display the paragraph as well now select click here select all and then hit control and C on the keyboard now it will going to be copied and now what you need to do is you need to just come over here and paste these paragraphs into this container right here which is this class my content ok now if I go back to the web page you can see that the content has been added right here to the about section ok in the about section the content has been added now what I need to do is I need to again add in the image so I will going to just uh, copy this image from here and uh, 
I will going to add in right here before the paragraph okay now if I go back to the browser again you can see that the image has been added successfully now what I need to do is I need to uh, specify the different type of the image in different section so what I can do is I can uh, right here define the type from the website which is lorem lorem uh, pixel.com and uh, from here I can specify the different type as you can see there are various types so in the about section I will going to apply the transport images okay so come over here in the brackets and in here just uh, type forward slash and then transport okay now if I go back to the web page you can see that the image of transport has been applied successfully okay now I will going to also add in a heading and I will just call it as h2 I will going to apply the heading and I will going to apply the heading for about section okay now if I go back you can see that the heading has been added successfully <coughs> now for the services section I will going to do the same thing just copy this whole content right here okay copy it and then inside the services section delete this line of text right here and paste it over here and uh, now what I will going to do is I will going to change the type of the image in the services section to let's say techniques okay so let's go back to the brackets and in here type it out techniques okay now let's go back to the web page and you can see that the now I will going to update this uh, heading I will call it as service section because it is a service section okay service section now it's fine okay now the content has added to three sections now I also want to add in to the business section so again I will going to just delete this text right here and I will going to paste the same content over here and then I will going to update uh, the image type and I will going to apply in the business section the business type image okay so what I will going to do is I will going to just change this link over here to the business to apply the business type images in the business section and I will going to update this heading as well to business section okay now go back to the web page and you can see that the business section is also updated with some dummy content so that's about it for this video guys I hope you like this uh, video if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and show your support and thank you very much for watching